And would you say you stretch more before or after you play? Uh, so before I play, I uh, we have different uh, routines. So for me, uh, before I play, I uh, I start with an active active stretch, which is a uh, uh, stretch, but uh, like like this, for example, and not uh, I don't stretch too much, not to put my muscles to sleep. And uh, then uh, like uh, I would start 30 minutes before the match. And uh, I've got to do these kind of things. Uh, I've got to do some cardio things like running, some lunges. You have to sweat before you start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the cardio I just do at the end before coming on court. So uh, it's really important. You can't you can't uh, come into the squash uh, court and uh, straight, uh, start straight away do lunges. You know, you can really hurt yourself. So any sport anyway, you have to uh, to get ready and uh, warm up a little bit before you you start doing something. So. For me, I do a lot of what's called active isolated stretching. So it's um, basically using the stretch in a full range of motion and holding it for just a couple of seconds. And it helps, uh, it helps while you do the flexibility to get blood flow into the muscle. So while you, while you do the stretch, you're actually warming up a little bit. So I'll probably do, I'll do that before I have every session. And then, and then maybe just like 10 minutes, a little bit like what Greg's talking about with some jogging, some, um, yeah. some, um, Move some that. movements, you yeah. know, some lunges with some um, twisting and stuff like that. Yeah. And, then, and then after, I'll just, same, same thing, just, uh, just active isolated stretching and... and Me is more passive after. So, uh, <laughs> uh, well, the, the, the best thing would, go, would, would be to, to, do, to do some bike. To, to do some drainage, but then uh, I will do like some uh, like some long stretch uh, uh, before going to bed. So. Yeah, I, mean, I, I was amazed. So, so when Greg got in, on, got in on Monday and he needed to go to chiropractor straight away, but then when he got back to our place, he wanted to bike and, and did like 30 minutes on a bike just to help his muscles as well. And then first thing in the morning, he had to set it up again. He did another 30 minutes in the morning, just you know, just just warming his muscles up and. Yeah, it's important that every time I travel, every time after a long flight or short flight, uh, I always do bike. Bike is, a, is I prefer bike than running because there's no impact, so you don't hurt yourself and uh, and uh, it's good to get your body active again. So especially uh, on the flight, you know, in the altitude and uh, you, uh, you don't have the, the, the best hair anyway uh, in, in the plane, so you want to get rid of all these kind of things and. Uh, Get active again, so so it's really important. Even even when I went to Mexico, after 15 hours flight, the first thing uh, I wanted to do uh, when I get on the plane is we went for jogging straight away. So, so yeah, that's that's my thing, and uh, I think it's really important to to do it. So.